Reclame está de volta e você continua conhecendo as feras e o mundo da computação gráfica. Uma coisa que, que me espantou bastante no Avatar, por exemplo, foi o sistema de músculo que eles fizeram para o personagem. E, e realmente aquilo é, é, é muito surpreendente, porque se fosse um, se estiver falando de um personagem só, assim, ah, é um personagem num filme lá escondido, você até acha que é uma coisa mais viável, mas era tipo, quase todos os personagens lá tinham todo o sistema de músculo, que passavam primeiro por por um animador que fazia animação, depois ia para o cara que fazia o rigging do sistema de músculos, que depois checava a parte de pele que ia por cima até chegar no render. Tinha também uma, uma galera responsável só pelo pela parte de, de floresta, em que ia no detalhe do tipo de quantidade de mosquitinhos voando na cena. Quando nós começamos no Avatar com James Cameron, o Jim não queria que nós usássemos qualquer software, He didn't want us to use any clay to develop. He wanted it pencil and paper only. If you're using complex software, sometimes it doesn't allow you to experiment very quickly. But once you have an idea that feels pretty solid, that's when you do start to use the software. And ZBrush was pretty much the chosen software to continue with sketching and to continue with developing shape. I worked on about 200 shots uh inside the uh, military base uh, with the hollow table, the hollow deck. Um, we use software like um, After Effects to create the animations, Photoshop to break down the graphics. Um, we use 3ds Max. Uh, we were a Max house at the time. We don't use Maya, we use Max, which, you know, there's very few Max houses left in Los Angeles. Um, we also had a... Um, a software development uh, division within the company that wrote software for us if we needed um, certain tools to help us do our job. One of the big things in the sequence that we worked on was the fact that there were so many screen inserts and so many graphics within one room. If James Cameron didn't like a certain screen, uh, we needed to be able to take that out, swap it, and that that would maintain continuity through the next 10, 15 shots. Interestingly enough, the most important choice that he made had nothing to do with the technology of 3D. It had to do with how he used the camera in 3D. Where the movie screen, the one where you're watching the film, he said, instead of stuff coming at you, let's have the screen be a window. So as if you open the window and you see out into the forest.